among you. I know many of you personally. I know many of you, all of you, in spirit. And it is a treat. It is a real treat. This is the living Paschal mystery in our time, right here. And I, and I think you need to recognize that. You need to hear um, that some men really do get it. <laughs> you know, um, I'm probably running out of time already here. <laughs> So I'll, I'll come back to my notes. I, I already did away with my speech. Anne Marie is very tough. Um, but it's very, very important for you to know that you are the most prayerful, most experienced, most professional, most learned, most creative women to sit under one roof at any time in history. And you must understand the obligation, the responsibilities that that entails. You, you are speaking for the future, and you're speaking to give us hope. You are living conscious evolution and cosmogenesis before the phrases were ever coined. And you know that. And you're also humble. You were wise to kick the press out of last night in this assembly room before you started your levitation exercises. <laughs> now someone spotted Sandra Snyder's on top of the, the ark yesterday afternoon. <laughs> and so I actually had to ask, did she use the elevator? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to either cry or I'm going to laugh. And it's a thin, thin line. So, um, rather than weeping in front of you, but I do want to tell you this. I do really feel your pain. And I feel the hurt. And I feel the humiliation. At the same time, I sense your uniquely profound joy and your determination and your courage. There's no question in my mind about who you are and how you will come out of this. The one thing you can be assured of is that you will, re you will leave this assembly with your integrity intact. And that is the most precious uh, challenge that I can offer you. And I think you are up to it.